Good morning, good morning, good morning. Who is awake this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Who is awake this morning? That would be you and that would be me. And this, this is Hope Message Breakfast Club. And I'm so excited. You know right now we are in the Business Masterclass, right? And so we have, I love him so much. He's a sweetie pie. <laughs> we have Santos Torres. Uh, Junior, correct? Yes. All right, cool. Uh, and and he is here today. As you can see, you see his designs in the back. Ooh, ooh, we got a fashion designer. <laughs> Hope Message Breakfast Club is making history, baby. <laughs> we got a fashion designer on our live this morning. And I am so, so excited and richly blessed that he would say yes. And I can't say that he got up early um, this morning. <laughs> I can't. I can't say that. And the reason why I can't say that. Cause this dude right here never went to sleep in the first place. So, uh, he's still awake from yesterday. I just really wanted to go to sleep somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is the way he works. So I, I'm, I'm going to let him be great. I'm going to let him be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we are having water. And what do you, I'm, that's what I'm having. What are you having? A smoothie. A strawberry mango smoothie. S strawberry mango smoothie. From, energy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And you know why he needed? Cause he ain't been sleep, and he just woke up yesterday and stayed awake. Like, bro. Anyway, yep. so he needs the sugar that's in there and the energy. Help him, father. Help him. Um, so, but we understand that sometimes that is the life of an entrepreneur. So there's that. Um, so we're going to get started this morning. We're going to ask Santos to pray us in, mm -hmm. and then we're going to move to the next level. Thank you, God, for blessing us with this time. I pray that this morning we are able to, to <clears throat> reach the people that you want us to reach, God. I pray that the people that, that um, are on this live receive whatever it is that they need to receive from you, Jesus. I pray that the words that we speak be your words, God. That the conversations that we have, God, be the conversation that you want us to have. Um, I pray that this time be productive, um, be fun and filled of just your presence, God. I thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Awesome. Okay. Okay. So let me tell you something why I invited Santos on. So I invited Santos on because I didn't know he was a fashion designer, first of all, but he just did this um, fashion show. What was it? When was it? It was in November. November. Yeah. I said just like it was yesterday. <laughs> Look, last like year it seems like yesterday to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it was like yesterday to me. Um, and it was so freaking awesome. First of all, can I tell you the support that you got from City Reach was just no, phenomenal? It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. All all the models, right, mm -hmm. were Every from one. City Reach, right? Mm -hmm. And they did amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah. yo. They killed it. They killed it. Some of them never modeled before, which is wild to me that they never modeled before. Like, I remember on when I asked her to model, she was like, me? <laughs> and she asked me for the lineup. <laughs> she asked me for the lineup. And there's one of those people that have modeled um, but she never did it. And mm -hmm. so when she asked me for the lineup, she was like, you have all of these people and you're going to ask me. And I was like, yes, on you, please. Can you say yes? She said, yeah. And honestly, high key, my favorite model. Like she killed it. Like she absolutely killed it. I was, I was so impressed. So, so, all right, let's, let's walk through this. So your design label is called what? Saint Studios. Say it again. Saint Studios. Saint Studios. Like yes. we're saints of God. Uh, well, yes. And also my name in, in, Spanish is Santo, like Saint. Oh, that's what that means. Because yes. in my in my head, so when I say it right, mm -hmm. I'm like, am I saying Lord? No. Oh, in, in Spanish, it's holy. Oh, so, it's holy. Yeah, it's holy Saint, Saint. Like you know, it, it depends on how you translate it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, so, so, all right, cool. So it's it's named. Oh, so it's just your name. Basically, yeah. It, my son, Saint Studios, really like was years ago. I'm gonna get into like some history here. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but years ago. 2017 is when, like, at the time we were, I was called Saint Customs, mm -hmm. is when I was doing a lot of, like, painting, um, and it was when we had our first son, and I had a job, but obviously having a kid, you need some, you know, a little bit more income than, than normal, mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, I loved sneakers, and I liked art, and I was like, let me start painting stuff to, like, try to get some extra money, Okay. Um, and so... <clears throat> We knew we were going to name him after me, and so that he was really the one that I named him after. Um, and then after he passed away, then it was like, okay, this he's a saint, like he's an angel, right? The name, mm -hmm. the name's gonna stick around. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until 20, 22, maybe around there is when Saint Customs turned into Saint Studios. Okay, yeah. awesome. So 
Now, I'm out here calling his um, clothing line found. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is so awesome because he is found. Like, and then I, look, I was thinking about I was thinking about the song Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. I was once was lost, but now I'm what? Found. And yep. he was like, no, it's it's Saint Studios. But like the that. collection is there was in November, the fashion show that was called Found. But oh. that was, I mean, I get it because a lot, a lot of people say the same thing is because that was the first time that I was like, released like mm -hmm. i was out in the like out in these streets <laughs> doing like fashion design on my own mm -hmm. um and so a lot of people think that found is like the name but it's Saint studios okay so now walk me through why because when, when you said it at mm -hmm. the at the fashion show i was my mind was blown yeah. away tell me why found it's a good question and this is gonna be this is a loaded question so let me know if i'm rambling come on, on you let, loaded let's let go me, locked and loaded <laughs> So there's a lot of reasons why it was found. Um, I, honestly, usually, like when I was in college, mm -hmm. names was like the worst thing for me. Like naming things, I knew that I was gonna have a struggle naming this fashion show when they asked me to do it, or when I asked, I asked Emily to do it. Um, mm -hmm. She's the 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 person that runs creatives galleries, um, for right. Okay. So I, I talked to her about getting it, and when I knew that it was coming in November, one of the things I was dreading the most was naming this thing. But honestly, it came really early, like mm -hmm. really, really early. Um, the word found and it was just like the the I the idea of doing this brand is that I'm reaching the people that were lost and now mm. are found. Um or even the people that are still lost will be found. Okay. Um, you know, I always said that the like when I started seeing studios and I started this journey on fashion design on my own. Because I, I did I have a few collections with Sheen. I had two collections with Sheen too. Mm. Um but when I did it on my own and I started doing it on my own this or last year um i wanted the the clothes to be obviously christian mm -hmm. um and so i wanted to appeal to christians and let them like find their identity like you know their identity is found in christ and the yeah. clothes are going to help reflect that identity okay. um but also god is the ultimate creative and so when i design a super like my process is just in prayer and you know and all those things and i want to make sure that god is, is the one that's showing me these designs right and so i want these designs to be so nice that the people who aren't found yet mm -hmm. and are still lost wow. approach the clothes in a, a you know because they like it because they like what it looks like right. and they approach it that way and then we're able to like put jesus in front of them wow. so that's the that's the idea that's the the, the big idea of where found came from <clears throat> um is the Past tense, I want these people to be found in Christ and God is found in them. Wow. So it's like yeah. that right there, using the clothes as a bait mm -hmm. to draw people into Christ for salvation. Yep. Yep. Wow. All right. All right. So, all right. So I want to, that book over there, what is that book? It looks so super cool and it like kind of matches your Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, my wife got me this, I think two birthdays. Shout out to your wife. What's, what's, what's my thing? Darling. She's the best. She, she helps me a lot, um, like designing clothes and like when I was no when I was in college, she she always said that like her like my degree is also her degree because she I would ask her because it's hard getting like opinions sometimes, especially from other designers because mm -hmm. they're so design driven. I want crazy. Like I, I sometimes mm -hmm. I just want like the things that are not logical, and she gives me the not logical sometimes wow. to like help me. In college, we always say aim high and then tone it down mm. um but sometimes as a, as a designer you start kind of toned down because you're thinking logical mm -hmm. um and my wife helped me like through college and even now sometimes gives me like the crazy wild ideas and then it gives me like this like this the clouds to shoot for and yeah. sometimes yeah i gotta bring it down but it's much better to start up there than so than walk me through that process what do you mean starting the clouds like give me an a, a example where you have this, starting to design something you started in the clouds and then you winged it down um so well i mean just a, like a general a general comparison is like if i'm talking to my wife about drawing something or coming up with it like one of the one of the projects in college um, we had a sketch. Like, we just had to do a bunch of sketches. Mm -hmm. um, and what college was this? Uh, Thomas Jefferson University in, in East Falls. At the time, it was called Philadelphia University when I when I got in. Okay. In 2017. And then, like, the year, like, in 2018 or something like that, they Thomas Jefferson bought them out. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like, for example, we had a, a car design. Um, my wife would be, like, flying car that has, you know, seven wheels. I don't know why seven, but four motors and you know a bunch of things like she, she would go that crazy versus a normal designer would think the normal four wheels driving right. the ground um and so those are the things that normally like 
she helps me a lot with and and that as a designer that normally thinks logically mm. um you know she helps me a lot awesome so now what's in the book what's so she book? got me this um two birthdays ago good morning ricky how are you are you having breakfast hey ricky <laughs> <laughs> um and honestly it sat for like months because it was such a nice book i know what to do with it like it's so it's cool. It's that like all like so old cool. and like leather and it's like, it's so cool. So then eventually, once I started this journey on doing Say Studios on my own um, and like designing on my own, it became like my prayer and like designing thing. Mm -hmm. And so if I ever lose this, I would be, I would be, it would be a very sad day. A very, very sad I day. I don't want you to ever lose no, it. No, I, I, I thought I lost it a couple of times. <gasps> so like. pages. So yeah. Oh, it's can like, I touch it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So there, it's like like this super like old faded pages and it's so cool. That is so, so cool. So this is where I this is what I design in. Um you know, you'll see a lot of words in it because again I do I do a lot of I don't do any designs, I don't execute anything if God doesn't give it like the same approval. Mm -hmm. Um and so I'm when I'm praying and I'm listening to, to, to music, if I'm at church even sometimes <clears throat> I don't know if you ever saw me. I do it. I used to do it a lot when, like, during the prayer times. Is mm. if I don't have my book with me, and I'm praying, and God gives me something, I'll grab one of the the connect cards or like mm. one of the the tithing envelopes, and I'll just sketch it out, and then take it home, and I'll draw something in here. Um, but a lot of times, it's not even like a full. It's not even like a piece. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes it's like a random shape, a random image. Um, like even the, like the mountains that that uh, a lot of the found collection was based off of. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Talk about some, the mountains. Talk about the mountains. Some of these mountains that you'll see in like the designs oh. um, was just random shapes that God gave me, and mm. I was able to to decipher oh. what God was trying to tell me in that and work that way. Now it seems to me as we're looking back at your designs now, mm -hmm. you're combining. Two different fabrics that, in my opinion, or if I've seen before, that they wouldn't normally go together. Yeah. So, like this right here. This is corduroy? Yep. Corduroy and jean. Yeah. Yep. But it goes so well together. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I lately I've been getting a lot more into, like, using different patterns, different fabrics. Like, these, this is new. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that's from the found collection. Like, okay. this vest, this shirt, this, and the brown shirt in the back. Um, and this hat. But, um... Now, let, I want to... I wanna, mm -hmm. I wanna, where's the person? Where's the little person? The little the, sick person. Where there's one on the shirt. This one? Yep. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There we go. <gasps> the little sick person. Okay, okay, okay. Tell us the story about the yeah. sick person. Because this is like the coolest thing. <laughs> so, um... If you, a lot of people might not, might not have seen it, but I did a tote bag a little while ago with a stick person that was hanging off of the pocket. Mm. Um, and I, I said at the time that was me like hanging on by a thread. Right. Um, and then, yeah, because like, you know, some, you know, struggle, like you go through your ups and downs, but that was like, that was, that was a, represent, a representation of me in like holding on by a thread and like holding on to God with like my last, with, 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 with what I had left. Mm -hmm. But this is, me or any other person that again was lost but now is found and it's like on the mountain wow. it's like victorious it's like <clears throat> i'm found in god and i'm proud of that wow. um so that's what that sick person is and you'll probably see Aww. see that sick person a lot in, in the things that i do do y'all see this this is so freaking cool Yelita, how are you are you having breakfast Yo, I found, look, that's the part I, that was, like, stuck in my brain. I was like, oh, my God. He said, wherever the stick person is, that represents where he was at that time. And it's like, I was like, oh, my yeah. God. That's, like, the most yeah. awesome thing. I'm like, bro. And now I know. Saint Studios. Yep. It's, it's, that's Saint what it is. Good morning, Janice. How are you? Are you having breakfast? And then what is the scripture down here? So this was this was the um, scripture that, like, led, like, that I was using a lot for found. And it's the, the prodigal son. Okay, read it. Read it um, for, for this son of mine was dead and he has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. So yeah, it's a prodigal son I that was lost. Yep. Oh my god. And again, that's that at one point in our lives that was us. Yes. At one at one point or another, we were lost and we had to be found as well. So <laughs> That is the coolest thing is. ever. Yes, you're having coffee. Oh Nick Nick, good morning. Nick, I knew I'm so happy you're on here. So we have we have Santos Torres, and he is a fashion designer, and his 
now that I know, <laughs> is Design Studios. It's called Saint Studios. And mm. this collection, so he has collections, it's called Found. Okay, I don't know. Are, are we about to get breaking news? Is there another, like, collection coming or what? Um, I... I have I have ideas for for the next like I I'm, I'm praying and and believing that I will have another fashion show this year. Okay. Um. Obviously, it won't in, the, the the last fashion show was through right was through right the organization mm -hmm. uh, the, and the creatives gallery. Um. And so this time it'll be on my own. Mm -hmm. Um. Probably still those people would support me. Right. But they try to you know do as many different creatives as possible. Oh, okay. okay. Um. You know, just reach different creatives in, in the Christian in the Christian world. Mm. Um, and give everybody an opportunity. <clears throat> uh, you know, there's an, actually another fashion designer uh, that's gonna have a show in April. Um, mm. and so I'm super excited to see what what he has. His name is Terry. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm praying to have another fashion show this 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 year. Um, on my own and um, yeah. I mean, are you working on designs? Do you have like a theme? Like you said, this so was the base scripture. Or? The theme of that most likely. Um, or the, the, the base on the design, I don't, I don't have a name yet or anything like that, okay. but it would be like either people in the Bible and like designing for them and like mm -hmm. what they stood for, their characteristics, what, what, what they did in their lives and, and the testimony that they had, you know, Abraham, Moses or whatever. Um, or, and, or characteristics or, or traits that a good Christian or that we should, we should have. Wow. Um, so like faith or generosity, excellence. Um, things like that. Even, I mean, I have no idea what this looks like, but maybe even sin, whatever that looks like, mm -hmm. I have no idea. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, just just seeing what that looks like. All right, but cool. Praying on that. I am, so, so this, uh, okay, I'm so excited. Wait, hold up. Because I got to control the excitement. Okay. So, <laughs> um, and the reason why I get excited is because, the reason why the business masterclass was created mm. is, is because I believe this that God wanted to put Christian businesses on display, mm. but to also show that you can be a Christian business owner with excellence mm -hmm. and that you can be a person that makes, as Pastor Jones said in the beginning of our series this year, he said, you can make goo gobs of money. So I bless you <laughs> now. I bless you now with, with the blessings of goo gobs of money. <laughs> I receive it. I receive it. I receive and it. And you don't. And you don't have to be. Another thing he said. So Pastor Jones, he did our first installment mm -hmm. of the business masterclass, mm -hmm. and he just broke it down every step that you would have to take on how to become a business owner. Mm -hmm. So he blessed us with that that you can have goo gobs of money, right? I was like, yes, goo gobs. Come on, goo gobs though. I never heard of that. Right? I never heard of that. I was like, goo gobs though. And so he said, and he said this. You never have to be afraid of your prices. Be proud of your prices. Honestly, that's something that I've always struggled with. Back when I was in mm. customs, especially, and even now too. Um, but prices is something I struggle with all the time. Like, I and I know God is telling me that sooner prices are going to go up. Wow. Um, because it's, at the end of the day, this stuff is handmade. It takes it takes time, a lot of time for some of these pieces, like vests. Like some of these vests take. No, let's, let's see this vest. 10, 12 because hours. this is not a normal vest, okay? So, yeah, so right, this one is, isn't done yet. It needs okay. a tag similar to this one that was in the found collection. Okay. Um, and it'll have one here, but other than that, this vest it's it's a it's a Well even take it off because yeah, yeah. because I want them to see how unique these items are in that Okay, good idea. Yeah, that works. Whenever this decides to Yep, yep. So I, I yeah, I hope y'all can see this. How you need and what this is? What material is this? I don't. I wouldn't even know what to call it. This, Burlap. It used to be a curtain. It used to be a curtain, and now it's a vest. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like I don't even know what material this. It used to be a curtain. What in the world? I don't know. It, it was a cool. It was a cool material that I found, and I was like, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, and that's then, right. And, and then you have these like clips right here, like buckles. Yep, to 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 close the sides up, to close the sides up. Wow. And what what was the inspiration slash vision for this? So the first the first vest was that one. My wife gave it to me because she wrote a song. I helped her write a song a long time ago, mm -hmm. um, and it was her her idea that God is our lifeguard at the ready. Um, oh. And if you ever talk to her, she would give you the. I don't know the full like breakdown of what that prayer conversation was uh -uh. Um, i can't remember it but basically the idea that god was our lifeguard at the ready she remembered that as i was preparing for the found collection okay um and so it started out as a life vest and then later on became this like 
bulletproof type of style thing of like basically like spiritual armor <gasps> um and so i'm hype right now that yes, was, excuse me that's what that was um and that was the first vest i made i made two more after this um, so this one right here this was the og vest that i made started out as like life jacket representation right that was the that was the <laughs> intention behind it at, at first was like a life jacket mm. um and as i kept praying i kept praying about it kept praying about it kept praying about it it became like a spiritual like bulletproof vest jesus yeah so did, I, are you hearing this good morning erica how are you are you having breakfast good morning joe how are you are you having breakfast are y'all hearing this he said, I didn't pray over it once. I didn't pray over it twice. I am continuously in prayer about what these designs are supposed to be. And I allow God to grow and show me more and more and more and add to it. Mm -hmm. And But there's a spiritual representation of the designs. These are not just clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was the, the whole idea. Like, when I was designing for Shein, um, that was my first opportunity into the fashion world. Mm -hmm. And I was just designing things that were nice. Um, but as, wow. as I was going into this, um, I felt like there isn't enough representation of like intentional design that's supposed wow. to glorify God. Wow. Um, and so when I would, every time I pray about this, every time I'm designing, every time I'm doing these things, I, I want to represent God in the best way possible. Um, and so again, when people are wearing it, they know why they're wearing it. So wow. that's, that's the, that's the intention. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I just got hype again. Uh, these bursts, uh, you know, I think I may have ADHD or something. But um, the intentional designs. And you, Erica, this reminds me of you in that the t-shirts that you had, um, she, she does t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And hers was um, intentional designs, too, in the sense of, like, they had uh, pictures on it that says, I am, like, the one I have is called mm -hmm. I Am Cherished. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just to remind us that we are cherished by God, right? And then she also would include a, a card in the design packaging that mm -hmm. with with the scripture that this shirt represents and things yeah. like that. So these these are the reasons. Aquila, good morning. How are you? Are you having breakfast? <laughs> um, these are the types of things that we need to know. Like you said, we didn't have representation, mm -hmm. right? And so now Christ is on the market. Mm -hmm. So you like, yeah, that's the thing. You see all those like Louis Vuitton and you see like a bunch of different name brands and you know those name brands. Right. But there's, I don't, I don't know any that are like Christian. Like, wow. I don't know any that are like at the face of fashion that right. are glorifying God. So, so we know that we can get some Christian chicken. Listen. But we can't get no Christian clothing. That's what I'm saying. All right. He said, he said we're going to be like a uh, Chick-fil-A on this piece. Like, <laughs> with the, with the lines around the, Listen. around the corner for Pharaoh. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Sega Studios. So I'm 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 so excited. This is this is the mindset. This is the mindset. So all right. Speaking of mindset, we are currently. Where are we right now? What? Where, where are we right now? Like in in the in the Our geographical location. Oh, uh, Philly. No, no, no. Where are we? Oh, in the garage. This is my dad's garage. Right. Um, so the spirit of entrepreneurship. Yep. Yep. Is generational. Mm-hmm. So can you, because you did talk about that in, the, the, yeah, at mm -hmm. the fashion show. So what is it about your dad's journey? Because we're in his dream right now. Mm -hmm. yep. We're in his vision right now. What is it about your dad's journey that motivate you to believe possible that it was even possible to have this journey for yourself? So, so I, because someone asked me at the show, like, did I always know I wanted to be an entrepreneur? And I'm like, <clears throat> honestly, did I know? I think so. But okay. it was more like it was just in my blood. Like it was just something that I saw all my life and it wasn't something that I could run away from. Wow. Um, my dad always, always, always was he couldn't like we we always joked around with him because he couldn't he, he ne when he was younger, he said he never could keep a job because mm, wow. he, he always had like I can be my own boss. I can be my own boss, I can be my own boss. Um, and so now that I have that same mentality, like I, I can like hold a job if I, if I really wanted to, mm. but I've always felt like I was called to do wow. my own, my own brand. Like I have, a, I had a passion, I have a passion, um, for shoes. Okay. And that's really where my love for design started. Um, that's what pushed me into, into college. Um, it was a dumb conversation that made me figure, helped me figure out what I was actually going to do. Mm. Um, cause I, when I was applying for college, I didn't know what the heck I was going to go for. That was something I was scared to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. in education. That I don't even know what I like. Right, I don't know exactly. what I want to do for my life. Right. But I've always loved shoes. Um, I collected shoes for a long time. I still do, and I love drawing. And a stupid conversation with my wife's cousin at the uh, 
and he was like, you like shoes, you like drawing, why don't you draw shoes? Wow. And I was like, you were a smart bull. Like, <laughs> like why well, didn't I think about this? Uh-huh. And so I did my research and I ended up in, in a in a major called industrial design. <clears throat> industrial design is just like anything you can get mass produced. Like any, okay. Literally anything. Um, and so I learned the design process in all like that can des- like that using that design process i can design washing machines i can design a car i can design a notebook i can design a shoe it like the process really? yeah like that's what they teach in industrial design they literally design anything that can be mass produced mm. um it's a lot com- more com- it sounds a lot more complicated than what it actually is but mm. I, when i try to explain it to people i kind of like can't figure it out okay but um i always knew that again i wanted to design shoes but i thought my journey was going to be um like a nike or like under armor out of college and then eventually when i was like 30s at least late 20s 30s whatever Mm -hmm. then i would have my own brand okay but when i graduated college god was like "Mm, actually it's now (laughs) and i was like acceleration (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. because i was like yeah because like i was on my journey i'm like i'm gonna learn from people who have done it Mm -hmm. i'm gonna learn from the, the the experts Take my notes in the, you know in the background and like learn the processes and stuff to, to get me there, gain connections, mm-hmm. and then I'll go ahead and I'll do my brand because I'll be equipped with whatever whatever I would think I need to right. to do the brand. Nope, nope, Mm-mm, that's not what God said. God said actually do it now. Wow. So and then okay, so th- what that does right there when 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 listening to God and He says do it now without all that preparation that you plan on doing. I don't, I don't know. Uh, that was your plan. Um, and, and <laughs> good morning, Gerald. How are you? Are you having breakfast? He said, yeah, that's your plan. Um, but if you do, I feel like in that, in that way, he's saying, if you do it that way, mm-hmm. then you will be able to say that you did it. Mm-hmm. But if you do it now, exactly. you, have, you have to do it by faith. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Oh my God. So then you have to depend, then you have to depend on me to give you the designs mm-hmm. one by one and piece by piece. I've, I've opened the door of opportunity for you to see at a glance what it could look like, mm-hmm. but you have to follow me and depend on me for the journey and the process to get where we're going, mm-hmm. where we're going. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Wow, that's just freaking freaking awesome! Like I'm just all right. My mind is blown, I'm, and I'm I'm, I'm 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 processing right. I'm mm-hmm. processing, and I get so excited, and then I had to bring myself down. So. <laughs> um, you're you're not even getting all the excitement that's in me. Ah, is that you, mommy? I think I'm like my mother. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. How are you are you having breakfast? You see your baby? <laughs> all right. So I'm 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 so okay. Calm down. This is me kind of trying to calm down. And and the reason why I'm so excited is because you're an inspiration to me. Thank you. You're an inspiration to me because I've seen from the outside your journey. Mm-hmm. I ain't on the inside. Mm-hmm. But I see from the outside and the view that I see with both you and Jarlin is that one, y'all two are strong mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. And y'all have made it through rough times. What? together (laughs) and then as you're telling your story now you're telling how um she is helping you grow and you're helping her grow together Mm -hmm. right and then i love also seeing the generation right because we're in your your dad's um um, business right now i see the generational blessing Mm -hmm. that is so awesome because especially in the times that we live in Mm -hmm. You had both your mom and your dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what role did your mom play since she's on here? Let's, let's, so, let's, let's get you some brownie points. I know, I know. <laughs> mom, don't. Listen. So, my mom was always the person that, like, was there for me if I ever wanted somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm. Love my dad, but he's not really, like, the get in your feels type of person. Right, right, right. Um, and so, if I ever needed, like a like, a push... Of course, I can talk to my dad. If I ever needed support, mm-hmm. like physically needed support, right? In any way, financial. If I needed, if I needed something like, if my car needed to get fixed or anything, anything, anything like that, like something physical, my dad would provide it automatically. Wow. <clears throat> my mom, I would talk to her all the time um, about the things that I couldn't normally talk about. Mm. Um, so, like, if I if I was down about something, my mom, like, she knew. Like, I didn't have to say it. My mom just knew. Um, 
And so if I need, if I ever needed something to talk about, if I was just down, she was just there mm -hmm. listening. If I wanted to talk, if I didn't feel like talking, she was still there. Um, so yeah, it was more like for my, like my mom growing up, it was more like emotional, like there mentally for me. And of course she was there physically for me too, but yeah. <clears throat> her biggest role for me was, was being there emotionally. Okay. Um, and still, you know, and then she told me, uh, hey, is that your daddy? That is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Parent love and support. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, and so with them two, um, no, no. Jennifer had told me she said mm -hmm. the night before the fashion show she she couldn't. Okay, so yeah, the fashion show was on. It was on Monday. It was, it was on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, so we had something we had on a reach group. Yeah, and then she was like, "I can't come." No, and she, she said, "Yeah." Uh, he told me I had to be there. Mom, yeah. I need you. Like I was yep. like, "Okay, mommy, do these." That's exactly what it was on <laughs> Monday night. <clears throat> Again, I didn't sleep last night. Preparing for the fashion show, mm -hmm. I don't think I, I, in the last, in the last month, I maybe slept half the nights. Okay. Um, the, uh, you mean the month before? The, like, the month leading up to the fashion show. Oh, okay. so October. Uh -huh. Maybe half the nights I slept. Okay. I okay. even think leading up to the fashion show, I don't think I slept for two nights straight. Like, getting in there. Because I, like, I procrastinate a lot. Um, and as a designer, you, like... You're never done. Right, right, right. Like, you're, like, I look at some of the stuff that I, that technically is done, and I'm like, I could probably add something to that, change it. So, like, leading up to this, this is my first display, first, like, public display of my brand. Mm -hmm. I wanted everything to be perfect. Um, and so, that, yeah, that was, that, that was just a lot. What was the question? I, I don't know why I got lost. I, I, I don't know, but it was, it was a good journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were talking about... <laughs> What are you talking about when you called your mom and answered that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a Monday night, I'm still, I'm still, still, still designing and making things for the models. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a lot of the, the, the models' things. And one of the things I planned for mm -hmm. to do days before, me and Jarlene, um, but never got to because I had so many other things to do. Jarlene was helping me so many other things. It was the t-shirts, the brown t-shirts. Okay, okay. Um... And we call those production things. So, like, the one of one. These are all, like, handmade one of one things. You'll never get another one of them. Oh. <clears throat> the, like, what we call production things are, you'll see a couple sizes of it. Okay. Um, and so. Now, is that is that industry language? Kind of. Okay. Kind of, sort of. Also, just might be just. Because we're learning that. Yeah. We're all learning <laughs> I'm here. Teaching, I'm teaching. <laughs> You're teaching. Because I'm learning. I'm like, um, okay. So, yeah, like, the production stuff is just something you'll see I repeats of. And mm -hmm. that was the t-shirts. We planned to do that days before. Never got to it. So, Monday night. We're like, I'm planning to do all these things. And Jarlene's like, we need help. There's no way we're going to get this done in time. Um, and so I'm like, let me call my mom see what she's doing. Because my mom going to be there. Regardless, she's going she to have to answer the phone. I get mad when she don't. <laughs> uh, the, the line she used to hit me when I was a kid was, what, your phone don't work? So That's what you say now? I, yeah. I, I'm like, mom, I love you, but your phone don't work? Like, so I would call her. I called her on Monday night. I said, Mom, what you doing? And she was in the car on her way. I think I think Janita was leaving. Mm -hmm. leaving. She was on the car, in the car on the way to, to, to reach group. And I'm like, Mom, what you doing? She's like, I'm on my way to reach group. I said, no, you're not. Turn it around. I need you, I need you at the house. And she's like, for what? And I'm like, I need these shirts done. <laughs> and I don't got enough hands. I don't got don't enough hands for this. No, I don't. Jolene and I, we just like, we ain't doing it. We don't have enough hands for this. And then they both pulled up. My mom and my dad pulled up. So I'm teaching them how to like press shirts. My dad was scared. He didn't want to make no mistakes. Right, right, right. He didn't want to make. He was scared to do the 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 because we have like a, a heat press and you just put the stuff in and you press it and mm. you're done. My dad, he was like placement. He's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It was cute. <laughs> it was cute. So you put them on the fire. You know, I put them to work. Yes. Like, I, they was. The, I don't even know what time they left. I put them to work. They they worked that night. Yo, they, that is they, too they funny. got their money's worth. And they, and they were there. Yeah, they were there. You, you had present help. Thank God. I think my dad did not stop crying the entire time of the fashion show. I think the the minute he walked in to the minute he left, there was a tear to that. Cause he's so proud of you. I know. He said it. it was Your mommy said it, and then and then uh, Santo said, uh, "Yeah, that, that's my handsome son." <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yes, mom and dad showed up. Good morning, Ann. How are you? Are you having breakfast? All right. So I, I, what I also want to do, I want to mm. get into 
some some of the pricing, right? Because yeah. we know that Pastor Jones told us in the beginning of this year, he said, don't be ashamed of your prices. Be yeah. proud of your prices. For sure. So some of these one-off pieces, since I don't learn some language, um, what are the prices of the, of, of the one-off pieces? And then what are the prices of the the production pieces? See, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, learning. I'm getting the lingo. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so again, like making these one-off one pieces takes a long time. Okay. Um, and so... I'm I'm really not charging what they should be because mm-hmm. again I feel like I'm still like getting there. Okay. But I know I, I felt God a couple of times saying you need to charge up, you need to charge up. Like you're not charging enough. So what is the process of you making mm-hmm. the the price of it? Like the, does so, schooling tell you how to? Um, yeah. Um. Because when you when you're doing when you're in school and like when, when I was learning it, you obviously you want to add in the cost of materials. You want to add in what the sample would have been like. So my idea when I was gonna to Saint Studios was mm-hmm. to get was to design and have someone make me like a hundred pieces of something. Right. That was my idea. Mm-hmm. It was way too expensive. Mm-hmm. Way too expensive up front for me to do it. And I always thought I always knew I was gonna do some like handmade pieces. Mm-hmm. God said all of them are gonna be handmade. And I was like, my bad. <laughs> my bad. I said, you gonna work on all no. this. Fast. You gonna do the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said no I didn't. He he he's trying to act like he didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm pricing this stuff, I'm trying to price it. I try, mm-hmm. never succeed. Rarely do I ever succeed to price these things at about ten dollars an hour. Of my, okay, of so my ten dollars an hour. That's like of what time. I try to do. Okay. Um, versus the production pieces, you know, I, it's just like I get the shirts for like seven dollars a piece to put the vinyl and the things on that go on it. Probably like a dollar or two per shirt mm-hmm. and then i you know charge whatever you know i think the shirts are 35 dollars. okay um and so half of it is materials half of it is our labor okay um the, the hats i've got those made um overseas they were something like 10, 10 12 dollars a piece mm-hmm. um brand brand colors orange orange <gasps> oh that, that's my favorite color uh, really <laughs> yes um and so, yeah, it has found on the side because it was for the found collection 2017 because mm-hmm. that's when Safe Studios was started. Um, and then Second Corinthians 5 7 is the brand, is the, the verse that my wife and I like, like live by. Um, mm-hmm. That was the verse. I don't know if you remember Ralphie, the, the one that you yes. used to mm-hmm. the youth. Yes. When Xavier, I don't know if you mm-hmm. remember son Xavier. Yes. When he was in the hospital. Yes. Our son was in the hospital a little bit after him. Okay. Um, and Ralphie was there for us a lot and he told us. Wow. He he gave us Second Corinthians five seven. Really? And what is it? It's uh, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Wow. Um, because my son's situation was very hard. Right. Um, and it was a lot of like you didn't see a whole lot of physical mm-hmm. uh pro- progression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we had to like just rely on faith. Yeah. Um, I got that tattooed on me and everything. Like I wow. live, I live by that. Wow. Um, so that's what the the five seven is Second Corinthians five seven. Wow. That's um, awesome. And so this right here is that's S for Saint? Saint Studios, yep. The halo for my son, and then this is a pen and paper. <gasps> this is the coolest thing ever. Do you see this? That took a lot of a lot of uh design process to get the the, the emblem. Yep. Wow. The logo. Took a long time. This is beautiful. Thank you. But yeah, pricing pricing this stuff is hard. Is that the stick person? Oh no, what is that? No, it's estimated. EST twenty seventeen. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. We can hang it back up. That's um, that's so awesome. But yeah, the, the pricing this stuff gets really, really difficult. So like some of these vests, um again, should be charged more, but vests like this are a hundred dollars. This is the mm-hmm. men's vest. This one's a hundred and thirty dollars. Mm-hmm. This is a hundred dollars. This is the women's one and it has a hood. Ooh, let's take that one down. Um Ooh, let's see the hood. So this is one, I don't know if you remember, this is the one that Millie, like a version of this is what Millie had on. Ooh, um, it has some fur pockets, some, bell, some, some belt some loops. This one's not done. It had, this needs this this little strip, this little strip of material here. Mm-hmm. I want to do something similar here, but that's about the only thing that it has. It has a zipper. It has some, some pockets, belt loops to hang off whatever you want. The buckles and then, so the inspiration behind these two pieces, mm-hmm. um, it's progressed off that, that bulletproof vest that mm-hmm. I had before. But when it st- when I started doing this and I saw this material and I was praying about it, um, I was reminded of David and Goliath. But mm. like his armor was different than the armor that people thought he needed. Right. Um, and so the material is like soft and like not really like 
armor. Like, it's yeah. not really, like, going to protect you. Right. But in the shape of a bulletproof vest. So, for me, it was, like, the it wasn't the armor that people thought he needed, mm-hmm. but the loving, like, the, the soft, um, yeah, just love of God is the protection that we need. And so, that's what that was. But it, that was, like, the base inspiration of, like, choosing the material and the shape of it. But as I got this Bible, this the art of this, um, I got it on Amazon. Mm, um, this is cool. The artist, the artist explained that it's the lion and the lamb. So you see the lion and you see the lamb at the bottom. When I got the Bible and I was reading about it, I was reading about his inspiration and all that. Mm. Um, this also gives the same <clears throat> lion and the lamb feel as well. Because the lamb is like nice and soft mm-hmm. and like cuddly or whatever. And the, land, the the lion is, like, hard, aggressive, like, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and so that's the contrast of the, the vest, like, the, the, like, that super, like, like hard contrast of soft material doesn't like it's going to protect you, but the shape and the silhouette of, like, a bulletproof vest. Wow. Um, and so on the back, you'll see it, it's embroidered. <gasps> lion oh, bring it closer, bring it closer. <clears throat> so you'll see lion and the lamb embroidered on the back. And the men's one will have a big like tag here like this one Mm -hmm. that says lion on one side and i I have magnets that i'm gonna you can reverse the tag and you you can take it off and reverse it and choose whichever one you want to be that day lion or you want to be the lamb so that's what yeah that's the idea behind that one you're just you're just so yes exactly joe fire like (laughs) so yeah this one had the hood um but yeah something like this again I look at other people's prices and I'm like, they're charging like hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, I don't think I'm there yet. Mm-mm. But I will be eventually. I know God is telling me I'm going to head in that direction. So how many, for this, <clears throat> let's break down costs. Because a lot of people, this this is why I want to break down the costs. Mm-hmm. I want to break down the costs because, uh, how do you say it? Be politically correct, Yolanda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, especially when we're buying... When, when we're buying clothes from people that that make stuff, mm-hmm. so in, in our mind, I'm just I'm just say it flat out. We'd be like, they from the hood, like you know what mm-hmm. I mean. And you'll go out and spend the money on Louis. You know, what I mean? you don't know Louis. Yep. Louis don't know you, mm-hmm. and he don't care nothing about you actually. Mm-hmm. And but you won't mm-hmm. support this person because in your mind, you have undervalued them, mm-hmm. right? And it's a phenomenal piece. Or it, 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 you may not even undervalue them. You may look at your bank account and say, I can't afford it. Yeah. But people afford what they want to afford. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so I'm 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 just thinking, I'm like, you really have to do what Pastor Jones said, be proud of your prices. Mm-hmm. And so the material <clears throat> costs what? The material is super cheap. Um <clears throat> probably I think I got this for maybe like a big curtain. To mm-hmm. curtain. Um, I probably got a curtain of it for seven bucks. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. And then this buckles and stuff like that. For what I use on, I got I get a pack of it. Mm-hmm. Not that much, but I get a pack of it for like twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, this, how much I've used here is probably a quarter of it. Mm-hmm. Um, belt loops from denim pants. Obviously, I can get though the 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 place that we get. I get a lot of my material from Turn Seven. I don't know if you know that store. What is that? Turn Seven. It's like a Turn Seven. Okay. Turn Seven. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Mm-hmm. It's like a overstock of, turn, of of Target. It just goes into Turn Seven, and it's like for super super cheap. Where is this at? Uh, there's one in Franklin Mills. In I've Philadelphia, Philadelphia Mills. No, it's Franklin Mills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, I get denim from there. I got a lot of denim from there. Denim, I can get it for like five bucks a, a, a pair of jeans. Mm-hmm. Um, embroidery, but really, really what? And what, how many hours? That's that's the that's the kicker. Right. So in materials, this is probably. I don't know, maybe twenty bucks, mm. if that. But and the zipper, the zipper I think is six, seven dollars. The mm. zipper is probably the most the most expensive thing that's just for this. Mm. The time is what is what's the, the the killer. This probably takes anywhere. It depends on the day. Sometimes time flies. Sometimes I'm I'm working super fast. It could take anywhere from eight hours to fourteen, fifteen hours. Okay. Um, but if you're looking at ten dollars an hour, this one specifically probably took took me like. 12 hours and it's still not done. Okay. Um, but if you're looking at $10 an hour, $120 plus material, you're looking at probably 20 okay. something dollars. So 145 is what this probably should be. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's already sold. Like it's, it's sold for 100 bucks. Okay. So, 
Did y'all, y'all get that? Good morning, Kayla. How are you? Are you having breakfast? Good morning, baby. How are you? Are you having breakfast? So did you get the breakdown of the pricing? Because I feel like sometimes we'd be having a lot of haters. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to say how, how I see it. But if we're in a different neighborhood, mm-hmm. we'll value whatever price they give us. So, yes, be proud of your price. And you said this is already sold? This one's sold. This and, so, this and, one sold. And, and you'll never make that again. Not the same. Not you. I, well, the, the great thing about hand making things is that no matter what you do, it won't ever be the same same. Mm-hmm. Um, so I obviously will make something similar, but it'll never be the same. Never, ever be the same. Yeah, I like that. I'll change something about it to make, to make you know, to make it one of one. All right. So now let's, let's highlight something else. Mm-hmm. Pick whatever you want. Um, we can go to Anch. Um, so this is, again, love all my models. Mm-hmm. Loved all of them. They all killed it. Um, and I want to talk about the vest, like these vests because a lot of research, a lot of biblical research went into them. Mm-hmm. But I want to shout out An's shirt that was 100%. Oh, God. And it's, it looks so simple. But this was such a, like, last minute glory to God type of moment. Mm. Um, Come on, because crazy. The, I had a plan for it. And I can't remember exactly what I had for her. I had, I had painted pants for her. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you remember them. Someone in the chat probably remembered. Uh, it was pants that were like kind of like zigzagged around. Like some, like I bought them like that. Mm-hmm. Um, the material was like a, a second layer on top that was like zigzagged like a swirl. Mm-hmm. And then I painted the mountains, like the usual mountains that I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I painted like green and brown uh, mountains on it. Mm-hmm. And I had a plan for her top, but it didn't work. Like, mm. a cu- literally, literally, like, a couple days before it, before the show, the top didn't work for some reason. I can't remember. Mm. And so I was stressed. Because you're sleep deprived. Probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to let that one ride. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, shots fired. So, um. A little bit, a little bit. So, um, I was so stressed about her shirt. And I'm like trying to figure out what it was, what it was gonna be, and I have a, I had a drawer, I have a drawer full of shirts and stuff, and I was praying and I was going through something for another for one of the other models, mm-hmm. and I saw this, and I was like, I wonder if this fits on, mm-hmm. and like what would I do to it, um, and this was like in the beginning of me doing those mountains, and God was just like, I was already doing mountains on the, on the pants, and God was just like, did like I like showed me this shirt and like gave it to me in the moment, um, and literally it was like. The time crunching down, um, it was just like, glory to God, because literally I was so stressed about her outfit, so so stressed about her outfit, because I like I wanted her. Again, the, the thing with like people who've never modeled before mm-hmm. is that they aren't confident, and so I wanted on to be super confident going into this, mm-hmm. um, because I knew that she had it. Like I knew that she she's a super cool person. Mm-hmm. Love on. She's a super 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 you know cool person. Um, and she had it in her. I just had to give her something. God had to give her something wow. that she was going to feel confident in and kill it. And I think, she's like, again, high key, my favorite model. <laughs> key, my favorite and, model. Then, and then I, I love what you had because you had young and older, you know, more mature people. So you mm-hmm. had Terrell there mm-hmm. and you had Gisella, Gisella there. Yeah. Um, but they all did so yeah. good. Like, yeah. I was just like, wait, who helped you with, like, the, the runway part? So it was a team of us. This, this, this was, like... This was a team. This, this was, was it, done with such honestly, excellent. This fashion show, I've never done a fashion show. A couple of days before, I was a part of one. Like my pieces were a part of a, a, a little fashion show, and I went to it and I took Emily with me to the one that ran mm-hmm. my fashion show. As like a, hey, this is like, because someone invited me to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, they wanted some of my pieces, um, and I was like, this is just, this was just give us an idea of what it is. But like it's it was nothing like planning your own fashion show. Okay, you yeah, know. Um, and so we had so many hands helping us. Wow. That day. Um, About how many people were on your team, including your mom and dad? <laughs> if I have, okay, so let me try to name everybody. Um, front lines was mom and dad, um, and like two people that was helping my dad like make sure that cause, again we live in Philly. You know, you know your things. People might steal things. Oh yeah. And so I had my dad and a couple people watching to make sure nobody stole nothing because I had like a store there. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's four people. My cousin Stephanie, she was like she's super like loud and like obnoxious and social, and so she was in the store helping like get people into the store and like sell things. Um, Jarlene's little sister and her mom and her aunt were helping make food and to get it out. Aww. Um, 
Layla was part of the store. Mm. She was helping like price things and like making sure that the the store was running well. Um, but she also ran the the the. The, the catwalk, like the runway walk. Okay, she okay. She ran that. Like, she was the one that was like... Layla. Layla. <gasps> love her. The baby! Um, yeah, yeah. Lay- I love Layla. She's my, she's my, um, my godson's mom. Uh, my son's godmother. Aww. Um, She's super supportive. Like, she she was there 100%. She ran the, the, the runway walk. Like, she was telling the models, your turn. Like, she was she was standing by the curtain. Mm-hmm. Okay, you go. Okay, you go. Oh, like, she like she ran that. Wow. She, she did and that. And she told them with, with the pose and all that stuff like that? Well, well, that was, like, a team effort. That was a team effort. That, like, that was, you know, in the moment. Again, some of the people already this. Millie was a big help. Millie, she just went to Africa. I love Millie. Okay. Too. Bless you, Millie. She's done runway modeling before. Okay. And so she was a huge help mm. um, in getting everyone. We had a couple, like, run rundowns here, actually. Because, mm-hmm. um, again, some of these people have never done it. But Millie killed teaching them. Wow. She killed that. Wow. Um, she did her thing. But yeah, it was Layla, Gianna, um, Olivia behind the scenes, like ironing pieces, cutting little things, like little frays that were around, mm. um, like little details, all of those. Like it was, it was so, 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 so many people like in the background, like making this thing happen. And uh, I'm about to cry, but and the, and the reason I'm about to cry is this because. So many people feel like they got to do it by themselves. Mm-hmm. You can't. This right here is telling you you can't. And we want to. Sometimes we want to do it by ourselves because we want to get all the glory and the praise. Mm-hmm. If it's a God thing, then he will provide the hands, all the hands necessary. Because you couldn't do it. Like, all. Yeah. And there's so many details. The food. The stealing. Like, it's yeah, so no, many. All of it. You know what I mean? It's so many mm-hmm. details. The behind the scenes. The getting something in order. Where you stand. And where you go. Like, and then when we're going to stop. And who's going to start. And, like, I'm learning so much being at City Reach. Like, the excellence is for real. Mm-hmm. Like, and the fact that we're supposed to do. Good morning, um, Isha. How are you? Are you having breakfast? Um, it's just you need the hands. And to be open to the hands. And when it's not a you idea, it's a God idea, mm-hmm. then it becomes bigger and it's more massive and it's multiplied. Mm-hmm. It's multiplied and yeah. you and with the multiplication, you need multiple hands. Yep. Yeah, it, there was no way like that. Talk. I, I, honestly, I wasn't able to fully digest that night mm-hmm. for days. Like it, it was a lot. And that, honestly, I could not have done it without every single person that was there. Wow. It was such an amazing night, and I, again, would not have been able... Even, again, down to, like, the behind the scenes, like, Gianna ironing, and Olivia, like, cutting the little phrase, things like that was, like, I didn't have time to do that. Mm. I didn't have time to do it, but someone could have done it. Wow. Um, and they were quick to jump, and, like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. It was, like, they were a blessing. This right here shows me, is for me, it gives me that verse that says, and the people mm-hmm. had a mind mm-hmm. to work. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that scripture fulfilled so much. It's, and this church has that verse yeah. as as it's like I don't know mantra or something yep. like. And yep. but also it's because of the other verse that is actually the foundation of City Region is, um, and they will know my people by the love that they show one for another. Mm-hmm. And so they showed love mm-hmm. for you, and they believed in your dream, yeah. like. That's all. That's all awesome. Uh, Joe said, what's next? And then I'm going to read some of these other comments. We have like seven minutes left. Um, and then we're going we're gonna to ask you to pray for people um, with visions and dreams and things like of that nature. Um, no different than car parts. That's cheap, but the labor is what makes the difference. Charge what it's worth. MOG. What does MOG mean? Okay. Man of God? Man of God. Okay, good. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, the cost is in the labor. Um, please drop the link to where items can be purchased. Oh, yeah. I, re- I, I, I do have a website now. So. Okay, you got a website. Oh, yes, awesome. So all right, so drop everything. All your instant and all your stuff. Studios.store is the website. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm making some changes to it. it well, I'm just adding um, on the side. I'm also doing some photography stuff. Um, and also a opportunity to right now is just about the brand things like that and the shop. So mm-hmm. some the, this stuff is what you see here is 
for the most part, what I have in stock. One or two things are, are sold, but mm. um, what I have in stock. So if you want something that's in stock, go to that store. Um, but again, I'm adding photography. So if you need me for photography things. Oh, you take photos? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. I, well, I do it for the church, but recently I started doing it like for profit, like for me. Oh, I um, didn't know to that. Help, to, like, to help fund this, the dream. Right. Oh. Um, fund the dream. Yes. Fund the dream. <laughs> um, so photography, but also an opportunity to request something. So mm -hmm. again, all these pieces are prayed for. Um, wow. And all that stuff. And that's like in my own prayer. But mm -hmm. if you want to request something, so someone who's famous for this is Vero. Vero mm -hmm. from church. She is almost, she's on her like her second or third tote bag. Because. Oh, yes. Let's look so at the tote bag. That one. And then also, what, what is that? This? This yes. is a pair of pants. Okay. A pair of pants. Um, so, Vero. Well, this is, yeah, painted again. Tribute. Yes, put tri it out. Tribute to, to St. Customs, when I used to be St. Customs and paint things. These pants were so me with all the colors. So <laughs> yeah, they're so me with all the colors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do these mountains represent? Um, so it's just uh, like, uh, Pastor David said this on a Thursday. It was like, don't tell God about your mountain. Tell the mountain about your God. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that was... <laughs> That night is when I got it, but like faith like a mustard seed can, can move mountains. That's also where like where that came from. And so mountains have I honestly mountains aren't isn't gonna go anywhere. Okay. Mountains is gonna stick around like it's faith. It's faith based. Wow. Um and so tote bags is what I've been doing a lot of recently and this is like a Valentine's Day theme um tote bag. Mm. And the there's like layers here of pink. Um pretty close, pretty close. And so I make, I'm making four, three of them are cleaned, mm -hmm. and there's one that will be available before Valentine's Day, so if anybody wants it, let me know. Um, but it's just like the layers, uh, our internal layers, mm -hmm. um, and at the core of it, love, is God, God's love needs to be there. Mm -hmm. um, for us to be able to not only love ourselves, but love other people as well. Right. Um, and so this, this, like, blobs... Um, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to represent it, our, our internal layers, mm. um, and that love should be at the center of it. Wow. Um, and then <clears throat> I'll be adding a little heart here that says God is love. <gasps> oh, yay. So that's what this will be. Um, but again, Veto's notorious for requesting. <laughs> and so I'm letting someone else, I'm letting other people do that as well. So I'll be adding a, a request option on my website as well. So if you have a prayer, if you have a scripture that you like. Wow base your life on or like something that you're praying for in a moment you can put that in your request um and <clears throat> my process is still going to be the same though mm -hmm. i'm still going to pray about what you're praying for pray about the scripture that you had you have that you're giving me and then whatever god gives me is what it is what you're going to get um that's 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 what that is do you see why he had to be here like i i'm so i'm i'm, I'm so blessed God in the beginning, I, I, a preacher just said this not so long ago. He said, God in the beginning, the first thing he showed us about himself mm. when it came, it wasn't his love, but it was his creation, his mm. creative ability. Yeah. Right? Because he created the world, right? Mm. And so you, being his son, had channeled this gift of creativity. And I'm, I'm just so blessed. Thank you for coming on to Hope Message sure. Breakfast Club. Thank you, Hope Message Breakfast Club uh, family for getting on here. And uh, your mommy said she wants it. So. <laughs> <laughs> all, tote bags, all Valentine's tote bags are sold out. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, so, again, thank you all so much for getting on here this morning. Thank you for getting on the live. Thank you for sharing um, your, your, your process, mm -hmm. um, your prayers. Um, the journey that God is taking you on. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for showing that business is possible with prayer mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that as well. Because just, yeah, I'm just, I'm yeah, just, boom. all right. Um, it is now 858. Are there any praise reports or prayer requests? Um, oh, they putting all your stuff down there. <laughs> TikTok, IG. <laughs> yeah. um, that's then, Yana, that's G. Who? I think you've been saying Joe, that's G. Oh, it's okay. It's Gianna. Love her though. I don't have my glasses on. It's okay. Yeah. So she's they, on the link. <laughs> uh, blessed to be part of the live. Proud of you, son. Oh, God is so good. Oh, 
Thanks for the grass, pops. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for allowing us to do it here, here this morning. Um, all right, so let's... Oh, there, are there any praise reports or prayer requests before we get about out of here? Um, I am just... Again, I'm, 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 I had nothing to say because I'm just so... I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm overwhelmed. Anything you want to say? Last words as um, we're reading? And then you can pray. I mean, I guess the, the only thing I will say, obviously, not just saying this for me. Um, obviously, support me if you want to, but... <clears throat> Again, I, I want this to be, I said this at the fashion show, it's not about any one brand, there's enough room for everybody, um, and I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, mm -hmm. I have no idea how, like what this journey looks like and what God wants for my life, I said, I'm not just doing this for my own personal gain, um, I want the next person to be inspired too, um, and so, but in that, it's hard, mm -hmm. just a reminder that it's not going to be easy, like this has been a tough journey, yeah. especially um financially like, like the startup of starting up a new brand a new business is tough yeah um and so as much as i want to inspire the person to start whatever it is that god is, is telling them to do um know that it's going to be a journey okay i know this is going to be work mm -hmm. and sleepless nights and sleepless nights or days <laughs> um well thank you again for sharing um as I don't see any prayer requests or praise reports right now, we're just going to assume that you are blessed. And we know that you are because you are children of God. Mm -hmm. um, and we just pray blessings over you. And you can pray us out. Sure. Thank you, God, for this time. <clears throat> I pray that, that the people that were in this live, God, in and out, that, that they received whatever it is that they need to receive today, God. Yes, God. And I pray that as they are, are, are reflecting on this live today, um, for the rest of the day, tomorrow, for the rest of the week, God, I pray that you continue to reveal to them, God, what it is that you want them to know. Yes. Um, um, bring back the conversations, the words, God, that we said here today, God, that, that you want them to remember um, as they as they are living life, God, and as they're walking in their purpose, walking in their calling, God. I just pray that you bless them um, with the, the, the motivation, God, the, the drive, um, the prayer life to... To, to seek you first in all things. If they are starting a new a new business, God, I pray that they seek you first yes, um, and trust in you, God, knowing that, that you will provide um, and that you will let them know whatever it is that they need to do. I just pray that you bless them, God. I pray that you bless us, all of us today. Um, and just thank you for this time. God, I see you in my prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. All right. We out. It's, enjoy your Saturday. I, I believe it's going to be beautiful today. I yeah, it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be nice. I put on two pairs of pants. I'm at this. <laughs> I thought it was, look, you don't know out here in these streets. No, like, you, I, you, I ain't want to be caught up. You were looking the weather at. No, I did not. <laughs> 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 All right. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later.